Throwback Tuesday. We're making up a snow day today. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to SNN. Today is Tuesday, the very last Tuesday of the year. It's June 20th, 2017. It's a hawk day, which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. This is a snow makeup day from December 9th, 2016. Let's see some snow pics. Our phone in today. If it were up to Benjamin Franklin, we would have had a very different bird as our national bird. Hmm, which one? Call 78293 with your answer ready. Go! Go. Thanks ASB and PTO for a great outdoor lunch yesterday. This is our national bird. And the national, American, the national animal of the United States of America. And appears on its seal. In the 1990s, the bald eagle was on the brink of extinction in the continental United States. Eventually, populations were covered, and on July 12, 1995, the species was removed from the U.S. federal government's list of endangered species and transferred to the list of threatened species. In June 2007, the American eagle was moved from the list of endangered and threatened wildlife in the lower 48. It's American Eagle Day today. Not the clothing, but the real raptor. Did you know that eagles live up to 20 years in the wild? Also, they fly high and fast, reaching speeds of 75 to 99 miles per hour, even when they're diving. The bald eagle's range includes most of Canada, Alaska, all of the contiguous United States, and northern Mexico. Their nests are the largest nests of any North American bird and the largest tree nests ever recorded for any animal species. The largest recorded eagle's nest was found in St. Petersburg, Florida. It measured 9.5 feet in diameter and 20 feet deep. It weighed in at nearly three tons. The name bald eagle comes from an older meaning of white-headed as the bird is not actually bald. Go to the site eagles.com for more information and even an eagle cam, and you can watch birds in their natural habitat. Eagles and hawks are both raptors. But get this, an eagle's wingspan is eight, full, is eight feet full grown, and a hawk's is about five feet. In terms of body size, most eagles are larger compared to hawks. It's amazing how eagles catch their prey. They must be really talented. On the radar for today. Want to hear some amazing music? If so, there's a concert coming to town. Already here. Tonight is the night for the end of the year band concert at 7 p.m. at the CHS Theater. Go hear them, CHS at 7 p.m. That's this evening. So before that, today, 8th graders, we're heading over to CHS for a tour. By the way, 8th graders, our lunch today is 11.57 to 12.20. More events this week. 7th graders go on the Sternwheeler trip on the 22nd, and then... The 23rd is the 8th grade completion ceremony. Followed by a day at Big Al's. Also, on Friday, the 6th graders are going down to the Camus Liberty Theater to see Born in China from 11.20 to 2 o'clock. This is in connection to their study of ancient China and the exploration of animals in their habitat. Which takes us to... School's, school's out for summer at long last. Your book etiquette goes like this. No markers. Like Sharpies. Use your favorite pen. Also, common courtesy. Ask someone to sign your yearbook. Spend some time thinking about what you want to say. Write in spaces, not on faces. Think about grandma as the filter for what you write. Distribution starts tomorrow. Here's Mrs. Miles from the Camus Public Library with news about the summer reading program. Hi, my name is Miss Ellen and I work at the Camus Public Library. Don't forget to check our website all summer long for information about our summer reading program. Win fabulous prizes, participate in free events. We love reading and we hope you do too. See you at the library. Fight boredom and summer reading loss by reading. Sign up for the Camus Public Library Summer Reading Program. Also, you can still participate in Summer Checkout in our own LMC. Sixth and seventh graders, stop by and pick out some books to keep your brain in gear over the summer months. A disappointing return in the books yesterday. Yeah, only about 12 books came back. 
if there are two, 200 books and they cost about $10 each on average, how much money is that? That's 2,000 real dollars. Fake cash can't save you from that. But you know, the total is more than that. So bring your books back, or you'll need to be paying for them. Speaking of cash, shout out of thanks to Mrs. Olson's class for returning their fake cash. It's awesome since now we don't have to buy more fake cash. That sounds weird. We'd love to recycle the cash. That also sounds weird. So if you have it, we'll take it. Speaking of returning, Mr. Edwards needs football gear returned right away. Bring that gear back to him ASAP. Also, if you're moving and you're a sixth grader, you need to return your Chromebook to Miss Pappas in the LMC pronto. Yesterday we mentioned that today was milkshake day. Not just milkshake day, vanilla milkshake day. The best kind of milkshakes of them all. Actually, chocolate milkshakes are the favorite. True. There are so many types of milkshakes. I know, it's like the vanilla is a great place to start, but salted caramel pretzel, coffee flavored, and Oreo cookie, and cherry vanilla, and mint, oh, banana cream pie, and peanut butter brownie, and s'mores? Well, today is vanilla milkshake day, not chocolate or any of the other milkshakes day. The first diner milkshakes were made from milk, malt, and a flavoring. In this case, vanilla. In 1922, the electric blender was invented just for making milkshakes. Hashtag best, best invention, invention ever. ever. How about Benjamin Franklin? What a turkey. Uh, no, I mean, it was Ben Franklin who was all about the turkey. While Benjamin Franklin was never recorded as lobbying for the turkey to be the national bird, it is known that he described the bald eagle as being a bird of bad moral character. If it were up to Benjamin, the turkey might have beat out the eagle for the national distinction. Good job to Maya from Olson's class. A treat and cake, fake cash will be delivered to you after the show. This just in from Mr. Houston. Today there will be a cross-country meeting during Flex at 2 o'clock. We will meet in the wood gym for all 6th, 7th, and 8th grade girls. And all 6th grade boys interested in cross-country next year. Questions? See Mr. Houston. And that is the news for Sky Ridge Middle School. Where you can believe in yourself. Be you. Today's thought, Tuesday isn't so bad. It's a sign that somehow I survived Monday. Have a milkshake Tuesday, Skyhawks. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Remember to follow the code, the Sky Code. Be safe. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be kind. This has been Lindsay. And Cameron. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, Ready begin. begin.